Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, today we're gonna make, let me uh, show you, it's a one balloon design. It can be perfect for line twisting and it can be simple as I think you can make the face with Sharpies or more elaborated if you wanna take your time on that. Or you just add a sticker. So this was the first try. Look at this. It's a very fast one balloon hippo. Well, kind of, because this was just balloon scraps of a 160 blue. So I seen pictures, so you can make it light blue or gray. You know, I look on Google, cute hippo clip art. And I saw all those pictures and that was one there that I think that's simple. Why I'm going to complicate myself, especially for a big festival or line twisting. So I think this can work for line twisting and it can be cute. Now this was the first try. Let me show you the second try. And it's kind of the same idea. I just playing with make small sizes. And the cool part, this one is officially one balloon figurine. Because even the ears is just the 260, the leftover, the, the last piece of the 260. So this is the hippo. And look at this also. You see this face? It's a very um, kind of like classic idea for a hippo face. Now, Cecilia, why you did this? That's a good question. I was thinking, you know, to make it part of the cheeks, you know. But I wonder if you don't do that, how it will look. You can try and see how will this look. Uh, I have one balloon, so I want to make this video with one balloon. But let's see, maybe I take, you know, because I'm ready to go to my gig. I have an old Chicago restaurant, kids night. But I want to see, you know, how can I do this? So it's just half of the balloon. So you grab your balloon, 260, and you just inflate half of the balloon, okay? So this is a light blue Qualitex, pastel or light blue, yeah. And what I start doing, it's very simple, just like a three finger loop. Then I make three finger bubble, and then three finger bubble, and twist it together. Then from here I make one finger bubble, and look at this, because that's when I decide to make a one finger bubble, a small pinch twist, and this is optional. So I'm gonna do it this time, the, the way I did the first, you know, but then I will try to do it without that. Okay, so, and you will see what do you prefer. So you have this, it's a pinch twist. Then you're gonna make sure I like three finger bubble, and then one small bubble, like the same as this one, the pinch twist, and make it into a pinch twist. Then you're gonna make a one finger bubble, and take that all the way to here, to, and twist it. Now, I'm gonna put things kind of like I like to be looking. So that's kind of is the design so far. Okay, I'm just showing you the front, the sides. Okay, now from here, I make sure I know there's three finger bubble, and then three finger bubble, and three finger bubble. From here, I like to make two pinch twists, but if you want only one, it's okay. I just gonna leave two, one bubble, pinch twist, and another one finger bubble, pinch twist. So it's two pinch twists, so that's gonna represent the little booty of this hippo. And then from here, I just leave like a small bubble, like a one finger bubble. And when you're gonna cut the balloon, make sure you need this left over for the ears. So you kind of, kind of, make here like a one two finger bubble but when you cut it also make sure you cut and leave some space to tie the balloon so i'm gonna cut it and you have this now i'm gonna now from here kind of leave like approximately two finger bubble then you're gonna split one in each side so you tie it you have this and then also the tail you make sure you tie it and then pull the knot, so that's gonna make a little bubble here to make it more like this shape, look. Okay, so look, now the tail is kind of like laying there. That is gonna represent the tail. Now, this piece, the last piece, you just split it in half, and this is what I did, and then take the air all the way to the end, so you kind of have these sides in half. 
and then you twist it. You can also pull and tie it if you want to make sure you know that the air um, doesn't go from one side to the other, the other side. And you have this. It's optional that part, you just split it in half, and then you pass one bubble all the way to between this part. You see? So you just pass one bubble. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this idea, this design? Look what I'm doing. I pull and I pull it up, so that way the ears are kind of like in there. You can cut this little excess, but the design is done pretty much. It's, that's the design, it's ready. And I think it's a very cute, very awesome one balloon hippo. Don't you think? Well, I think so. Now, Shopee time, look at this, simple, easy. Now, stickers, again, in the rest is also simple, easy. Now, um, I'm gonna do the simple and fast way. So in case you just play, because there's people that just have one color Sharpie that is the black. So you just make like a dot, another dot. You can, if you want, put some eyebrows. And then here, this is the nose or, you know, kind of like for the hippo, you just make a circle. So if these are the eyes, make the circle for the nose a little more separated. And then something like this. And then you can put a smiley face. Make sure hippos look very cute if you have tooth, like two tooth coming out. And if you have time, you can always color it with white. And that's all, you know, depends how much time you feel you have. Um, and if you have a white Sharpie, of course, my white Sharpie doesn't want to cooperate. You know, remember how to collaborate with this channel. You can always, you know, send on the description of all my videos, you will find my address. You can send, you know, white Sharpies. <laughs> that is something that I use a lot. You can just colorate, you know, the teeth and also even make two cute dots there to make your hippo look cuter. Now, this is one way. Now, I'm gonna see how it looks if I don't make this pinch twist. So I'm gonna go to this side that I have my balloons already there, light blue. I think light blue is a good idea. Don't you think, light blue? So this is one with this pinch twist. Let's see how we look without those, without those two pinch twists. So inflate it halfway, and then you're gonna start doing this again because it's a fast design. You see, it's so it's good to repeat. And let's see the other version that it just came out when I was showing this design. Now we make a loop. It's like three finger loop. We lock them. Then we make three finger bubble, and then another three finger bubble. And then we twist these two together. Then we make one finger bubble. And then, yeah, we're not gonna make the pinch twist. So from here, we just measure the finger bubble. And then you're gonna measure one finger bubble. And when you have that, you're gonna connect it. If you start from one side of the loop, look, you're gonna go to the other side of the loop. Right there. And you just twist it together. And let's see how it looks. Now, you can always make that instead of three finger bubble, this part, you can make it four. It's gonna be, you know, thicker. And then from here, you're gonna measure three finger bubble, and then three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, two twists. Then you make two pinch twists or one. It's up to you, this part. But I think it looks cute, the booty with two pinch twists. And then you just make a little bubble like two little bubbles, I mean two finger bubbles, and then just make sure you cut, but leaving some space to tie the balloon in both sides. So I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna yeah, kind of measure this like two or no more than three finger bubble. then I'm gonna split it in half for the ears. You know, the hippos, you know, they have a big body, so their ears look very small compared to the body. So you just have something like this, like it's no more than two or three finger bubble long. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the side for a moment and oh, my little tail took the, I lose the air. I got this too much relax in that point. So from here, you just leave a little bubble there. I think that's gonna be good enough and tie it very close to the end of the balloon here. Okay, so when you have that, then you can play with making the shape of that tail looking down. I think that's a very cute way to make us, you know, like a simple design with those uh, idea of the tail. 
Okay, so look at this. You have the body. Now let's make the ears. It was just this piece, it's split it in half. Take it all the way up. You can always, um, ooh, look, you can always kind of like find the center here, pull and tie it so that way, you know, one ear is not gonna get too big than compared to the other one. And then ooh, you just pass one of the bubbles on one side to between this loop. The front between there, you're gonna pass it. And then you're gonna pull and pull it up. You can make that part kind of tie, uh, tighter so that way the ears are not so fluffy looking down that are a little bit up. So you don't have, you need much space. As less as the space that you have in here, I think it's gonna be better, you know? So this is probably too much. You can just leave less. Let's see if I'm tying one more time. I'm just complicating myself because at the end it's not really that too important. This is a one balloon figurine. It should be, you know, like something easy and fast and you don't complicate yourself you just leave it there you can cut the excess if you want and now look at the design i'm gonna do the sharpie time the same way i did with the other design so we will see the difference you know with all those things so i'm gonna make that circle another circle some eyebrows the nose the nose and then here's my face with the white teeth and i'm gonna show you to you as soon as i'm done this is your sharpie time um and it's the same as i did before just so we can see the difference which i think this one looks very cute and even better i don't know what do you think which one is your favorite do you think the pinch twists were necessary or not necessary you tell me in the comments I don't think it's necessary the pinch twist actually it's kind of like something but it can give a character too so you tell me in the comments what do you think about this design it's only one balloon design it's a one balloon hippo believe it or not it's a hippo now if you want this to be a dog it could be a dog you can just change the face and actually it can be a very cute doggy with only one balloon that's not bad right I think it's a really cool idea keep it in mind and if we, especially you know for people that sometimes you know you just don't want to use many balloons for a design one balloon what else what more you can ask you know i think this is great one balloon figurine it's a hippo i love it have a wonderful day everybody thank you so much for watching my videos for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel you should because there's already there's already lots of videos that it doesn't not even show uh design it's also you learn techniques you also learn you know a little bit more about the balloon twisting world it's uh you know how to deal with big lines or how to make sure you make something that is you know not just one way like this is a way that is easy fast simple only one balloon figurine hippo but if you check it out in my playlist animals you will find a more elaborated hippo with three balloons and that's kind of the idea that there's many different choices and all depends how much time do you have Awesome. So don't forget, I want to know what do you think is better? This design without the two pinch twists to the sides or the one that have the pinch twist to the sides? This pinch twist, this. This one, I think it was too long. So I like something smaller. But I don't know if it's still looking, you know, good idea. In my, I think like, I prefer, I think, the one without this uh, pinch twist. Don't you think? You tell me. Let me know. I'm curious now. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.